Hello everyone, this is the Grand Chain, part of the Long Drive team, bringing you Shroud of the Avatar Let's Play. We're going to play through the game with a brand new character and get, you know, just play through it. I'm going to play through it because I want to show you guys a bit about the game and different aspects of it in an actual playing style of it. So, I went through the beginning whole section and now I'm in Soul Town. I took the love path, so if you go into my skills, you'll see that I have ranged, I have light armor, blades, and pole arm, a few spells, not too much, plenty of things I have not gathered up on. Um, this is the same character I use during the tutorial series, so if you wanted to see the whole beginning aspect of the game, go back and check into the, the basics, 10 minutes or less. For soda, I'll have the link in the description in case you wanted to see that whole beginning aspect of the game. I go through that whole part. So we are left off in the point where you talk to Stanley. After you get out of Solid's Bridge, you talk to him, and you tell him your name, and you give him the package that the guy there, uh, Cole, Kevin, whoever his name was. Let me see. I can check my journal. This is what the journal's great for. And you can see. Edward. I gave Edward's notes to Stanley. I did that. And then Stanley told me about people in town who might need help. So, let the games begin. Uh, also, what you can do is for uh, looking around, you just hold right click and you can look. Or you can hit tab and then it'll lock to your mouse. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Let's see all the people who have blue. Those are the people we want to talk to. Now, there's nothing wrong with talking to everybody. So this is Traveler, if we talk to her, she'll say, Linda. Now her name is Linda, right? You received item, Bark Bread, from Linda. Soul's Bridge. You can click and find the information. See, even if they're not quest givers, they're always good to talk to people. Get their name. Also, if you're brand new to the game and everything, something you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to visit the Oracle once a day. Now, not all towns have oracles, including Soul Town does not have an oracle. So what you're good with, you can find one of these locations. These little um, wagons here take you to other towns. These are all player-owned towns in Soul Town. Like, all of these are player-owned towns. I can go into all the details later on. We're going to go to Oracle Oasis. We're going to Oracle Oasis because, well, there's an oracle there. Alright, now that we've arrived... We'll make our way down. You'll see this is kind of our entrance here. I'm just like hours if I own it or something. Where I live here. I don't live here. I just know there's an oracle here and this is where I go for oracle. We can also hit K looking to our skills because there's a few skills we might actually want to set up. Uh, not escape. We're going to want to do sprint later on. And I think we don't. We do have, we do have dash. Take dash. Put on this bar here so we can move faster. Open up. Talk to the Oracle. You can await your destiny. Da 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 da. da. The path of love. You can use sick with uh, Susquehanna. And, you're, and you will learn to love and the catalyst of both deep happiness and dark malice. Your destiny awaits. Here to guide you. Yeah, path of love. Path of love. Path of Love. But I took the. Yes, okay, it is Path of Love. Uh, Land of Dardis. Yes, I know. Um, I'm just trying to get to a test. Can I do test. Can I just type in test. Yes, okay. This is the first time I'm taking the test, although there's some minor reward involved. Do not worry if your answer is incorrect. You can always return later, and learning about yourself is a long and necessary process. I observed your actions while walking the path of love. Do you feel your actions demonstrate how you lived according to the virtue of love? Basically, is your virtue of love high or low? If it's high, hit yes. If it's low, hit no. When you're starting out, all of them should be high. They start out high. <coughs> Apologize. When you confirm a test, you get 500 gold and 500 experience just for doing a test. So do these once a day. You can also talk to her for more information about the virtues, what your virtue is. You can ask her about each of the virtues and she'll tell you what your current virtue is. So if you're not quite sure what a particular virtue may be for you, like you might have a low or high courage and you're not sure, 
talk to her first, ask her about courage, and then take the test. She'll tell you. She'll be like, "Hey, you know, you're not very, you're not very virtuous in courage. You're quite the coward." And then you know, you'll know to say no. Go back to Soul Town. Am I hitting here? Yeah. Back to Soul Town. Now quests are always good to do. Uh, as you can see, I put this right here, so I can just tap one, and I'll cast the dash spell, and I'll go a lot faster. Speed for gameplay. Talk to people in blue. Hey, well, Soul Spirit John, my daughter. You know, my late daughter will survive. So basically hit daughter, right? Now if you did the Soul's Bridge, the love path, you save that little girl and her she's the daughter. So all you have to do is talk to her and say daughter and it's like, thank you so much for helping her. Here's 2,500 experience. Yeah. Done. All right, next. Talk to her. Let's see, quite the adventure, I suppose. Yes, yep, those thieves. Yep, those thieves took my necklace. All right, so we're gonna find someone who took a necklace and give it back to her. Let me never actually ask her name. Your name. My name is Jenny. All right, cool, see, your name, cool. You. Uh, waiting at Cavern Garth and Graf Mines, but it seems to be not coming, thanks to Tackle Saul's Bridge. My name is Emily, staying in your soul town. Okay, okay, Emily. Here in Soul Town, okay, my name's Emily, yes. Soul's Bridge, you say? Oh, you love Quincy. Yeah, Quincy. Something about news of Quincy. Uh, I do believe there's something about Quincy, wasn't there? Uh, I'll go, we'll come back to you in just a minute. I think there's something about Quincy. Greg off. What? I be called? I am Tegan. The great mighty Tegan. Fighting iron blades, you say? Iron blades? With undead beasts. Battle those undead beasts. East of Pro Trail is a good spot to go hunting, I'd say. Alright, so basically we go to there, we'll kill some things, and get an iron blades. I love Marcus. You love Marcus, you say? The station of Sol's Bridge, Marcus said he had part in very important strategic in the Shogun of Ardros. Strongest and the bravest men. It's only from my love with him. Love? Love, you say? I'm loving to meet Marcus. Yes, in Ardoros. Yes. What do you want me to do? Type in help. What do you want? Some of the refugees are still loved ones. They're missing. No, sounds selfish, but my only concern right now is finding out if Marcus is okay. If he is, I am sure everyone else is too. Okay. So, got a thing from Marcus, and uh, Emily needs Quincy thingy. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. On you. You good, sir. What do you, what do you need? Help! What do you need help with? Great! Another one heroes. Uh, helpful. But who set a fire to our wagons? Who set fire to your wagons? Ask people about fire. Somebody set fire to your wagons. It's crazy. Crazy people, man. So someone in the town set fire to their wagons, and they're refugees. These are people who had just left the craziness of Solace Bridge and all the undead army that tried to kill them. What, what crazy people we have in this in this realm trying to kill each other for no reason it's crazy oh so town criers okay so we go to town to find criers talk to them they'll give you 100 gold just for talking to them now you go to once per town during your gameplay so once per town per character kind of thing there are a lot of towns in this game though you need help you say you need to fight the undead let's fight the undead yes See the cure on dead. Yes. Awesome. So here's the thing. He says that uh, horrible play, costing the grow, stops to fight the undead. Da 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 da. Uh, yep. Mm hmm. Waking dead. Yep. Kill everything. Yep. Got it. Something else he needed, I believe. Take. That's what it was. Take the fight to the undead. Help. Take the fight to the undead. Good man. See the bartender for more play questions. Okay, so I think they got rid of the whole plague thing they were going to work with, and they never actually finished it. Oh, this girl here, the barmaid. Talk to the barmaid. Now, if you talk to somebody who opens up a menu like this, but you want to talk to them, right? You go to your uh, chat menu. In my case, I have separated my chat out a little bit. I'll go over the details on that later. You see Emma, and you hit hello to talk with her. All right, you go help. What do you help with? 
Unless you can introduce me to a handsome soldier from Arteros. Battles of Dawn, a strong, handsome soldier. Whisk me away to a happy ending. Okay. So she wants to find a lover from Arteros. Talk to this refugee here. Bentley! Hey, Bentley! What's up? How can I help you, Bentley? I uh, have an offer for me, you say? A uh, farm? You just need to find a key in a farm nearby? A uh, key is paste. Is, yep, I'm, I'm going to go there for do other stuff, but the safe deposit box is here, if you know, if you must know. Uh, back. It's really cut off to fight off the new. I'm not really cut to fight off the new owners of my country's state. Okay, that's strange. Hey, right, villager, what's up with you? you Joe says, you love bards, you say. Quite a bit of love, you say. You're, you're in love with Emma? Okay, you're in love with Emma. Now give her a poem. Now just give me that poem. I'll, I'll talk to Emma. Now don't worry, Joseph. I got you. I got you, bro. Yo, Emma, you got a crush or you got a crush right here. What do you you don't need people all the way out there? You got you got a guy right there, right behind you, man. Here, here, here read this. He has such lovely words. You should read this. You wrote me a love poem? As if I have my sights on a bigger and better things. And some farmer has nothing better to do than spend his nights here. One of these days, I'm going to catch an eye on a handsome artist's guard. They're going to whisk me away. <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> She's a complete bitch. So, anyway, <laughs> find Joseph. He talked to him again. He says that she's in love. Right? Easy. I'm not surprised that she's already betrothed to another. Wait, no. What did I do? Ah! I didn't do this right. So, it always tells the one thing here, but it shouldn't say that. It should have two things. So, give her the poem. It doesn't feel the same about me. It should underline this. You can type, no, she does not. And you know, he'll, he'll get upset, but you'll tell him the truth. Where you can lie to him, say that she's in love with another person, and then he's like, you know what? It's not that surprising. You know, it's all good. Either way, you'll get the same golden experience for doing so. So I kind of messed that one up a little bit because I was rushing to just try to complete the quest. So, yeah. But no worries. Alright, so no one else is up here. So make your way down. This is your banker. He's the only banker here in town. You can talk to him. We'll have some stuff if you put anything in here before. You also see down here you can add slots. Currently I have 50 slots. You start with 30. I already put 200 into the, the add slots, right? So I've added more slots. Um, it's always good to have many slots because early on you're not going to have a, like a, a place to call home. So your best bet is to use your bank. You just pile up stuff in your bank. Make sure you have enough space. Anything of extra, pile in here. Uh, speaking of piling stuff in here, I need to take Quincy's broken sword. And there's some letters, I believe, too. So we'll take these letters, right? We'll take those with us. We'll take the notes as well. And we should probably take some arrows. We'll take the ones that have no value. See how they have this one has some value to it. This one doesn't. Even right now, there's not enough in the stack to be considered a full value. But we're going to take this one to get rid of those because they have like the, the red no value thing. They're really annoying to have two different stacks. Um, when you buy arrows in the game, they'll come like this. But this is a separate one that you started out with in the game, so get rid of those first because they're taking up an inventory slot for no real good reason. Everything look, looks to be all right. So, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll take some. No, we actually don't need teleport or recall scrolls. Maybe recall actually. So we'll go ahead and it's you shift click. Uh, it's like okay, so it's shift click and drag to open this. Then select the amount you want to take. We're going to take three with us. The health and focus potions. Do we have them in our inventory? No, we do not. So let's grab some focus and health potions with us. Well, I just throw everything in here. Kind of make it easier on me. Take that with us just in case. Everything else looks good, so we'll just close that all up. Now, I also noticed that if we go to character, we don't have a helm. So it might be good to take that helmet I found for off that corpse. Put that on too. It's only gonna be a little bit of extra protection, but you know, it won't hurt, right? It doesn't hurt to have just a little extra protection. You can see a little thing here up here because armor is damaged. That cloth helm doesn't have much durability left in it, and it will break, and when it does, it'll become more or less useless. 
Hey, now we got all that extra gold to work with. We have 900 gold. I kind of wish I would take off this. I don't like how it's transparent because it makes it hard to see things sometimes. I wish I could make it not transparent, but currently there isn't a way to do that. So if you leave the inn, come right over here, talk to the combat trainer. He'll open up your skills. And anything in the combat ring, magic ring, or strategy ring, so everything on the adventuring page, he can teach you. However, if you go to something like blades, you'll see the money cost for all these things. You'll see these two don't have anything on them. The way this works is you are going to have a requirement. So in this case, you need blade combat to be level 20. So this has to be level 20 before you can unlock these three. These will then have to be requirement of 40. So these will have to be 40 to open up these. These, will have, these two will have to be 40 to open up this. This will have to be 40 to open up this. Also, he can only teach you up to these skills. He can't teach you these last two. You have to find a bladed combat master in order to learn your last two skills, your last two tiers of skills. That's the same for almost all of the, the setups here. Like all of these different skill trees have that same setup. See the last two tiers there? Last one tier for sun, last tier for earth. Not all of them have the same tier system, but the last couple spells you need to find a master to train. If you don't have anything in this particular tree, you can always learn your first skill. They're always free to learn. Well, free as in, it'll cost you 100 gold, but it won't do anything beyond that. It'll just cost you 100 gold. My suggestion is to go to your range tree, learn the skills you don't know. I would suggest if you have the money to learn all the skills that you don't know, it's going to cost you a bit, so don't jump right into it. But if you have the coin, I suggest doing it. This way you have those skills unlocked. After you have those skills all unlocked, you can go ahead and turn off the skills you don't want to train because they'll start draining your experience. And draining your experience early on in the game is not what you want to be doing. Bad, okay? I'm just going to turn off all these skills. So they're not being trained. We'll unlock these. Yes, discharge. Unlock this one. Rapid discharge, which is a innate skill. We'll then stop these from training. Tactics. All right. So this is your tactics tree. This is kind of your. This is training your health. Down here, you can train your focus. So your health and focus we talked about in the intros. This is the subterfuge. Go ahead and train these guys. It's always good just to train what skills you can. No worries. And I'm going to turn these off. Oh, turn that off. We'll go over skills in some of our tutorial videos, but the gist of it I'm doing here is that each of these different tags do a different thing. So this means you're training it. This means you're unlearning it, which means experience from that will actually go into your experience pool if there is any left in it. This means you're not training it, not getting any experience into it. This means you're maintaining it, which is if you die and you lose an experience, experience will be taken from your pool and put into those skills. Because the skill lo the experience loss is actually from your skills, not from the pool itself. It pulls from your skills first, then from your experience pool. We'll go over that at a later time. So, cap of flash, I'm actually gonna have that ticked. Because I want to train that up while I'm doing other stuff in order to get silent movement, which is a wonderful way to get around fighting NPCs and from even fighting other players. Alright, so now they're all set. Um, I want to keep that up and I want to keep... I don't want me to train these because these are for things we don't have yet. I want to train health and I want to train focus. These are early on skills you want to train up. Same thing with your dexterity. As an archer, you're going to want plenty of dexterity. So keep those, train those up. You're going to lose a lot of experience pulled when you do this, but you have 23,000 to start out with. So you got a bit to work with. So no worries. Also, uh, another trainer we're going to talk to. Come right over here to this trainer. This is the crafting trainer. So we go and talk to him. We'll go into our crafting tree and we'll make sure that we learned as much as we can. Make sure that we know everything. We don't know fishing, so let's learn fishing. Looks like these are all set. 
And these are all set, so we know at least one of everything. So we're good to go. Agriculture doesn't have anything yet. And if you don't have a house, you're not going to be using it anyway. Because that's what you need in order to use it. Alright, so let's go complete some quests. So the first thing uh, I want to do was that whole fire thing, right? Go oh, right here. Here's a mate, the master range trainer. So if you're starting out and you're doing the love path and you're doing range combat, your trainer is right here. He'll teach you all your, all your skills you need to know. It's very convenient. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Why I suggest love path. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. You can also check out the description for other links to other videos, along with our website for more help.